Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today we're going to look at five foods you want to avoid if you're trying to prevent or survive cancer. Realize that overall cancer risk is complex. There are many different factors, but it is largely influenced by diet. I've seen cancer centers and top-notch researchers state between 40 and 70% of the risk of cancer is linked to food. So yes, food makes a huge difference and it's one of the tools that you can use to prevent and survive cancer. Now recently I did a video and it was the top five cancer fighting foods that are the most powerful and I will put a link in the show notes below this video. So you're going to want to see that one too. But yes, food makes a difference. So let's look at the top five we want to avoid. Number one is alcohol. Now, when I was being treated for cancer, my naturopathic doctor told me right up front, she said, I would prefer that you not have any alcohol occasional glass of wine might be okay but I would really prefer that you avoid it if you can and then she said alcohol especially wine is estrogenic I did not know that but there was a UK study done and the strongest association was found between alcohol intake and increased breast cancer risk in another study in Brazil they found that those who regularly had alcohol intake had increased, increased breast cancer risk under age 50. Now I can imagine what it does for breast cancer pretty much does for most cancers. So this is something we want to minimalize, if not just completely, avoid. Number two is processed foods. Wow. That's a little bit tougher. Why? Because the American Standard Diet is filled with processed foods. And if there's anything I've learned in the cancer journey, it's that God did not create our bodies to eat processed foods. He created our bodies to eat whole foods that He created for us to complement our bodies. When I talk about processed food, let me give you an example white flour, white rice. These type of things, man has actually taken the outer coating, ripped it off, and given you what's left, devoid of most of the nutrients and the important fiber. So it's very important that we look carefully at eating whole foods, not the standard Western diet of processed foods. Number three, I guess this was invented in the good old South where I live, but fried foods. It's everywhere you look. We fry everything in the South from gold and Southern fried chicken to French fries and corn dogs and you name it. But it's not good for us. And the research shows that highly fried foods increase the risk of breast cancer. There was a study with 620 women under the age of 50 and fried food showed the largest intake increase in breast cancer risk. When they were matching everything up between this and that in breast cancer, it was fried foods that came up the highest for breast cancer risk. Something to think about. Number four, processed meats. What's the first thing a doctor tells a pregnant mom? You know, first is alcohol. Don't drink any alcohol, right? And the second is don't eat processed meats. We're talking about bacon. We're talking about sausage. We're talking about deli meats. And in a 2018 literature review of 18 studies, they linked processed meats with a 9% greater risk of breast cancer. Last on our list is 
my favorite food that I had withdrawal symptoms when I had to give it up, and that is sugar and high carbs. And here's one of the reasons. They found that it may increase risk by increasing inflammation. What have we learned about inflammation? It is the root for all diseases, including cancer. Sugar also affects the expression of certain enzymes related to growth and spread of cancer. And we want to be careful about this. So too much sugar is not a good idea. Minimalist at best. We also know that your immune system is suppressed if your blood sugar is too high or too low. So we want to keep our blood sugar in normal levels, especially when we're fighting cancer. Now we've all heard that sugar helps feed cancer. It is true that sugar just is gobbled up by cancer cells. Cancer cells love and crave sugar. That's why on a PET scan, they give you radiated sugar and then they follow where it goes. So we want to keep this in mind and limit sugar to prevent and survive cancer. Now, one thing I didn't mention on the list, and it will not go on the list, and that is soy. Because for many years, people thought, oh, soy is a bad food, especially for estrogen-fed cancer patients. But according to Christy Funk, medical doctor and surgeon, and this is her book called Breast, the Owner's Manual, she says, soy, they now know, does not increase breast cancer, but in fact decreases the occurrence, recurrence, and death rates in every single study exploring this since 2009. Then she goes on to say, well, what's a safe soy to consume? Organic, for sure, because most of soy is GMO. So I could put GMO on the naughty list, to be perfectly honest. So I hope this information will help you in trying to prevent and survive cancer. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it, and click the notification bell so you will know when I post new information. Yes, there's the naughty and the nice list, and these are the ones we've really got to think about, minimalizing if not totally avoiding if we truly want to prevent and survive cancer. Again, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Here's to your health.